All right, so let's talk about the strafe. The strafe is going to need at least three animations, a strafe left, a strafe right, a strafe back. You could potentially use your run cycle for the strafe forward. And again, depending on your artistic choice, you can reuse your idle for the strafe idle as well. If you want some transitions, you can animate an idle to idle transition. I will point out uh, an artistic choice that FromSoft makes that I think works really well, is when the character strafes, they point the chest screen right. And what that does is it creates a really nice silhouette on the weapon and the strafe is less distracting because there's less of a flip between the spine as he's changing direction. Now I did intentionally want that C-shaped flip when I did the pumpkin knight because I was going for a cartoony style, but that's just something to keep in mind where if you are keeping the character's chest kind of pointed in the same direction along the strafe, it could be a little bit less distracting. It may assist the player better than if you're flipping the spine and things like that. So that's up to you. Now let me go ahead and hop into Sequencer and show you some simple workflow tips to get started. I put it in a separate folder, keep things clean, and I have my strafe idle, which is actually a duplicate of my regular idle here. I just duplicated, dragged it into here, and the reason why I did that is because I created a new pose. As you can see, this is the, the strafe idle, and this is my original idle, so I wanted him to kind of take a step outward. Um, I thought that was a better silhouette and it would be easier to transition into strafing um, from this pose rather than this pose. And then what I did is this animation all right here, this is the exact same keyframes that I did in the locomotion idle. Once I made this new pose here, I took all of the old idle poses, which started from this one here, and I used the blend to neighbor right, just dragged it all the way over so that these two keys are the same. And then this is the same exact idle uh, as my regular locomotion. So that's one way you can get uh, your animation for free. And so once you have your idle, you can use that base pose to heavily edit it to get the start pose for each of the strafes. And I want to make you aware that for the actual target lock system, you will need to code that. You can either do it yourself, I'll include some tutorials, I have not personally done them, but you can give them a go, or you can get one on Fab. Now, I personally use this one for $10. Um, it worked great, and it's the one I'll be using in the tutorial. However, there is also this free one that you can go ahead and try and see if it works. I haven't used it, but but it shouldn't be too hard to implement regardless of whether you code it yourself or use one of these ones here. But I did want to make you aware uh, because the one I will be using does require a price tag. But again, feel free to use whichever one you want. So uh, that's all I have for you. And yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.